Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be trying these five products from BoxyCharm. So this would be the Boxy for July. And I had a great time using some of these products. And so just wanted to show you what they are, tell you a little bit about them. And then if you stay longer for the video, you can also see me put them all into good use. So we're going to start there. Let's go. Okay, the first bit uh, we always get a little card here from boxycharm and they have started including some coupons or coupons depending on how you like to say it so wander beauty has 20 percent off and gives us a code wander charm 07 pharmacy gives 20 percent off using the code charm 20 so excellent there this pulls out and this is the first long card I've ever seen BoxyCharm do and so this month's box in July 2018 is called Road Trippin. First we're going to start with no baggage and if you're road trippin that's funny. So the nor no more baggage normally retails for $42. This box is $21 so basically it's like you got everything for half the price of just one product say goodbye to puffy and say hello to youthful rested looking eyes with Dr. Brandt's No More Baggage Eye Deep Puffing Gel formulated with biomimetic technology, peptides, and botanical extracts. You are guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles. Do I look visibly reduced? Do I? Hmm, because I did use this. Okay. Next is from Crown Brush, and you can see I've already made it into a hot mess. This one is called the Fuego Eyeshadow Collection, and Fuego it is. So, look at these pan sizes. Absolutely ginormous. Uh, this says it's made up of rich, warm toned shades with this creamy, high pigmented, pigmented <laughs> palette gives you exactly what you need to create infinite, flawless eye looks. The four shimmer shades perfectly complement the six matte shades, making this the palette for all your glam hashtag goals, right? And so this uh, normally retails for $29.99. So again, I mentioned the pan size. The pan size is really large, um, very sleek. It's in a kind of a cardboard-ish package, but has a big mirror in case you're traveling. The inside, I love the gold. I think that's that rose gold is absolutely pretty. So you're gonna um, see how I used these eyeshadows to create this look. Now, I have used several of the shadows over this week just because I love the colors and I really wanted to get a good understanding of how the palette works. And overall, I, I've just been happy with it. I mean, it just goes really well. So these little bad boys right here, highly pigmented. They're right, highly pigmented. The shimmers that I've used are only these two and a bit of the white. And so again, the shimmers are really, really good. I have not used this one. This kind of looks shimmer-esque also, but everything that I've used so far is, is very highly pigmented with the exception of these two. So these two, as you can see, I've, I do have them on, but when you see them in the pan next to the eye, you would think that, and if you use the lighter colors first, you would think, oh my gosh, I'm kind of intimidated because these are going to be pretty pigmented. They're really not. For whatever reason, these two colors here, you have to build up. So you'll see that in the video that when you put them on, they just kind of, there's just not the same level of pigmentation as the rest of the eyeshadows. So you do have to work with these two a bit more to build up. For beginners or, you know, people that wear makeup a lot, um, but they're afraid of highly pigmented shadows. These are actually really good to be a dark color for you to try to use because again, you've got to build them up. You don't really have a choice. They're not as pigmented as the other ones. Now I will say the pinks and the oranges together 
really create a very pretty look and I've done several different looks with this palette and each time I'm just like wow I love how the, the color scheme works together I love how they blend um, they're just very very pretty so I absolutely thrilled and again I've not used the crown shadows and this is pro crown but I love the presentation absolutely gorgeous okay so the next is the wander beauty unlashed volume and curl mascara i have used wander beauty's powder and um, i believe their foundation love their powder and their foundation this kind of caught me a little bit off guard the first time i used it so let's go into this is an award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara will bring your lashes to new heights literally the unlashed mascara volumizes, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients. This normally retails for $24. <clears throat> I think because it's a lengthening, I didn't see necessarily the volume the first time that I used it. Lengthening, eh, okay. And I may have only done maybe two coats with it and gave up. It, this really does need a third coat to kind of thicken the lashes it it goes on when you first put it on it's really thin so today I went ahead and used um, I did a side-by-side -side using this with the Marc Jacobs the Marc Jacobs was just slightly more thick than this the Wander but using it the second time and really working it I did get some eyelashes the first time I used it I got no eyelashes I was I was actually a little depressed so the second go around I had a much better experience you just have to build this up it's not thick thickening it's lengthening I, I want it thick and long what can I say I want it all I want it all so this again normally retails for $24 the next bit is from note cosmetics it's designed to work for all skin types this is a luminous silk compact blusher Paraben free blush adds natural colors to your cheeks while preventing dryness. It has um, an argon infused formula. So I thought that was interesting. The built in brush and mirror makes this little compact a three in one treat. And if you ever try to carry your brushes with you, whatever's on the edge of your brushes gets all on the inside of your makeup bag, etc. So having the brush inside is really nice. And it's the perfect charmer on the go. So I did have a bit of pink on and then I was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to have use this. So I did put the, the blush on over the pink and this is more of a coral color. Very pretty and very pigmented. Holy smokes, very pigmented. So be prepared. I love this little compact. It's got the cute little round mirror and bum, 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 it's got a little hidden compartment for your little brush on the go. I did not use this brush but I like the fact that it hides the brush underneath the actual blush and then you've got this cute little compact that is ready to just go drop it in your purse and you're ready to go and pick up during the day now I haven't used the blush during a full day wear test I will say the eyeshadows from crown seem to hang on so very excited about that um, by the end of the day they were still I still had some good color on my eyes okay lastly was from Cella Beauty this is an eyebrow cream add some wow to your brows do my brows look wowish do they yeah they do don't they this innovative eyebrow cream effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency it has a built-in brush the velvet-like formula makes blending easy, then sets, giving you the perfect brows that will last all day and night. Okay, so I had a little bit of problem uh, getting into this. You actually will unscrew it. This brush is, you know, as far as the shape, that's, that's nice. But when you do it this way, it is super thick, like super thick. So now I don't know where my eyebrow brush went. So this is the one I normally use for eyebrows. So again, this is, you know, comparable. But when you turn it this way, this one is like two to three times the, the size of that one. So I just didn't feel comfortable using that. That's ginormous. 
Yeah. Then you s screw off the end here, and in here is your little product. Well, when you put your product is flat, and you have about, well, it looks like it's all the way up. You, you get a good bit of product, but when you put your angle brush in, you only get it on the tip. You can't really bend your brush at an angle enough to get it all over your brush. So basically, I dabbed it in, and then you can see on the edge here, I would take off the extra product and kind of move it all over the brush, and then do the eyebrows. So you'll get to see that later in the video. And then you just screw this on the end. Um, and you'll kind of hear a little bit more thoughts on my packaging, the packaging, etc. So overall, I really, really enjoyed this box um, for all you boxy babes out there. It's another great box. I really, really enjoyed the eyeshadow. I'm trying to think, what did I enjoy the most? I think I really enjoyed all of them. Um, the no bags bit, I'm going to have to use more to see how that really works overall, but it didn't burn my eyes, didn't sting, so that's always a good, a good start to using new products. Um, the blush is a really pretty coral. I think that's going to go great for summer and carry right into winter. Uh, mascara, who doesn't love mascara? The size and the fact that the tube is kind of squishy. Um, makes it great for packing. Um, it just slides in and you guys know I, I travel quite a bit so having something that I can pack and go is great. I do like I, my eyebrows are in place. I did like this product. Um, I had some comments on that. So yeah, I mean this BoxyCharm month was once again fantastic. So if you want to see how I created this bit using those products then you're in the right spot so stay <clears> tuned <throat> i like this hair Woo. okay so today we're going to start with the no more baggage it is the eye depuffing gel needles no more and it says it's for all skin types after you're you apply your eye moisturizer warm up a tiny amount and gently um, pat on your bags and dark circles. Use alone or under makeup. So we're going to bring out a tiny amount. I'm warming it up. It's going to be interesting. And I just woke up. So <clears throat> it's the weekend. I slept in. I sleep in every weekend. We are going to just keep going in these little in this box. So I've got some eyebrow cream, I've got some blush. I also have I also received also received the mascara and as you can tell I've already been using cuz I've already made a mess on top of the eyeshadow. So we're going to so we're going to be playing today. Here we go. Okay, so we jumped ahead. I went ahead and put on foundation, lips, blush, highlighter. So our next piece out of the Boxy Charm box is for it's called Shella Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. That's all it says. So I'm not sure. Well, no, that's the only side that can pull. Okay. Nope. All right, it looks like this end pulls off and you have a brush and then this part actually should unscrew. <laughs> Pull one side, unscrew the other. And it's this little bitty bit down in there. That brush looks ginormous though. I mean, this thing is fat. Okay, I already know that's not gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I mean, this brush, when I use it for my eyebrows, I think is ginormous, and that sucker is at least two or three times thicker, so we're going to use my thinner one. What's interesting is that both both brushes, let me make sure, are at an angle, but this is flat on the inside, so when you go to use it, you're only kind of getting it first on the tip. Okay, I'm not sure that I this packaging is the best for what you're trying to accomplish.
Yeah, I definitely can't see that fat brush working. So what I've done is I've kind of just pushed off the excess on the edge here. And that's kind of what I'm now getting my brush in. I think the product goes on really nice. My only complaint, or two complaints, is that brush in this packaging. As far as it going on, the tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream, I think, does a great job going on. Again, it's just the, the angled fat brush is way too fat. And then the angled brush to go into a very small spot and you only get it on the tip, you really have to work the edge of your brush, like whatever you get on the tip, this side, as you pull it out, you've got to kind of mush it on the side of the packaging so that you can then play with it and get it all over the brush. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but as far as I like the thought process that you would take this with you, but again, I'd never use that side. Okay, so the blush that we got in here is called Desert Rose. I'm just going to take a blush brush. And if you pull this down, you get a little bitty brush back there, which is cool for you to take with you along with a mirror. Absolutely cute. And it is highly pigmented. But that color, I love that coral color. And I like that it will carry you into fall. So that is great there. Now we're going to play with the crown. And as you can see, I've got a hot mess on front. Because I've already been playing with this little bad boy. So I do have some fresh, well, it's not a first impressions. So I can tell you how this is going. Really and truthfully, I, I like it. It seems to be, it's really easy to use and the colors blend. I will say the the darker colors don't go on as dark, so they actually kind of diffuse. You may need a deeper color if you want to get a more smoky look. This color here, and I don't have, they don't really give you colors. I really like it. Um, it's good for the transition. It's just a nice neutral color. Also like that they're mixing the pink, the pinks with the apricot kind of colors or maybe some orange tone colors. They, it does go, they match, they blend, they match really well. And so your looks are kind of they're kind of elegant. It, it seems like no matter what I did, and I, I mean elegant, almost like bridal elegant, all the colors just go so well together and complement each other that this palette really does an amazing job. To be honest with you, I've never used crown eyeshadows before, so that was kind of a fun experience. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this color next. And as you can see, they're pigmented. And you, you would think I would remember that after all week. I did tap my brush. So these pan sizes are really big. And because you don't need a lot, this, this eyeshadow is going to last you a very long time. I think I'm going to go in a bit darker because I know these don't these kind of fade away a bit so you would as much as these come off quickly as you can see I've kind of already dabbed but they're kind of the darker colors are almost more transparent so I've really had to kind of for the most part dab the color in which you wouldn't think you'd have to build this up given the lighter colors so it's just again really interesting to me that the darker colors I was expecting those to me to have a just a really have to be very very careful and you don't you actually have to keep working at them to build them up since I use the metallic pink I think I'm going to go ahead and use the metallic pink in there so, for basically kind of a cut crease. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this pink color here.
I'm going to go ahead and start with the mascara. This is kind of not normally how I do my makeup, but I'm going to go in with the mascara next, even though I have not done my eyeliner because, and maybe I just had a bad day trying to use this before, but I just, I, it says it's a volume and curl mascara from Wander Beauty. Now I like Wander Beauty's powder and foundation, but I had one heck of a time with this mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I mean. And I'm going to, I normally put on three coats, two to three coats. So we're either going to see if I have a better shot at it today or if this mascara did kind of what it did the other day, which was non-existent. All right, so now we'll go with round two. I'm trying to get as much on the brush as possible. Now we'll pick up and do the third coat. So now I'll go ahead and put on my eyeliner. Oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just knock off some of that. Oh, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever I do, I'll do it off camera. I always feel like with my eyes, if I don't have eyeliner on, I just look sleepy. Maybe it's just because I've wore eyeliner for so long. It just looks odd to me. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put a wee bit on and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching this video using the July 2018 BoxyCharm. So it it is once again my favorite subscription for so many reasons. 